It was the Seeger family who discovered Elizabeth Cotton. She was born about 1892. Her grandmother was a slave. She was only a young thing in her 60s when she came up to Washington from North Carolina and got a job with the Seegers as a domestic help. At that time, she wasn't playing at all and hadn't done for about 40 years. Back home, the preachers had warned her about worldliness and music. The Seegers were to change all that. at home when you were growing up? I learned my music in my home. When I was 11 years old, I went to work and bought myself a guitar. When my mother would leave home to go to work, after mother was gone, I'd get up and put my dress on and go down among where the white people live. And I'd knock on the door. Someone would come to the door and I'd say, Miss, would you like someone to work for you? And they sometimes said, no, nothing. I knocked on one lady's door, and when she opened the door, she says, uh, what could a little girl like you do? She hired me. I said, miss, I can sweep your kitchen. I help with the vegetables. I can set your table. I said, you know, I can make a fire in your wood stove. She cooked on an iron stove then. Y'all know about them? Yes. No, you don't. You've heard about them, but I did. I knew how to make a fire in this iron stove to make it draw so she could cook. So she says to me, come in. When I went to her house, I started to work for her that day. And I worked for her until she left Chapel Hill. And her, she paid me 75 cents a month. Well, I didn't know 75 cents wasn't want much money. It was a lot of money to me. I'd never worked before. So one morning, she came in the kitchen. She says, we gonna give you more money. And she gave me then, after that, one dollar a month. And I gave that to my mother and asked her to buy me this guitar. So she bought it to her sorrow. She didn't get no more rest. See, I was just doing this all the time. I couldn't play it, just making a noise. She stormed to me, she stormed to me and tell me, she called me, babe, babe, put that thing down and go to bed. I said, mama, I'm learning a new song and I want to learn those songs because I didn't know one then. I didn't know no songs then. Elizabeth, you wrote one of the most famous folk songs of all time. It's played all over the world and almost every country, <laughs> called Freight Train. How did you come to write that song? Well, just as I said, I, I lay in bed at night and, and he had stewing over on the track, trying to come in. And he, he, he said, choo, 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 And I'd go to sleep hearing that the rest of the night. So I guess that gave me a, a mind to write something about the freight train. Must have. Mm -hmm. Train, freight train, it runs so fast. Please 
Train, I'm 